Hey guys, back again with a, a really a small update on this. I'm sorry I don't have more progress to report, but I've been working out of town like a motherfucker lately and I just haven't had time to really do anything that I enjoy. But I, uh, I got those G-Made Komodo lower links in and I got them. They're not even in their permanent locations right now. I just threw them in there just to see if it was going to do what I wanted it to do. It definitely did. And those are those 78 millimeter links. Not the way you fucking strap. Uh, come on, show us the part number. Right, it won't focus. You can look them up. G made Komodo 78 millimeter links. They got those. They're gonna do just what I wanted them to do. I got my shocks are all mounted with the same spacers now, so they don't look hokey like they were before. I found those on eBay. They're uh, they're different lengths of three millimeter spacers or standoffs, if you want to call them that. I got them in three, six, and nine millimeter lengths. I used the nines all the way around on this truck. I still have some work to do on the front shocks. I don't like how they angle outward at the top. I might have to change front links to something straight. I think I can get away with it with the new wheels. Uh, it's all a work in progress, you know. You've custom built stuff, right? So the shock spacers and the lower links, they work perfect. They're just what I wanted them to do. But now I need body mounts and bumper mounts. And, uh, I was in Tractor Supply the other day, and I got some of this half-inch aluminum flat stock, and I got some half-inch aluminum angle. I think I'm just going to cut the angle to the lengths that I need. And use a couple pre-existing holes in the frame and just put flat angle in there and then drill a hole straight down through and put a flat across and put body posts on. It seems like the simplest way to do my body mounts. And simple is best, isn't it? So that's how we're going to do that. And I'm probably going to do something with that to do my bumper mounts too. It seems simple enough. But I'm going to go buy one of the mini cutoff saws from Harbor Freight, or maybe I'll spend the money on a good one, I don't know yet. But I want to make nice clean cuts in there, I don't want to just hack it up with my Dremel and use it. I found another useful little piece of information for us here. Now, any of you guys watching this are probably screwing around with a crawler or a scaler to some degree. And at some point, you're going to come up with the question, uh, what can I do for a cheap electronic speed control? Like when you melt your red cat one like I did. Now I've always sworn by these Axial AE5 waterproof speed controls with a drag brake. They get the job done and I've always considered them to be pretty cheap. And they come in about 40 bucks. You might be able to get it a few bucks cheaper if you buy one from an eBay chop shop. And that in itself was a pretty good value. But I was in a hobby shop looking for some electronics the other day. And the guy behind the counter made it seem to me that this Hobby Wing Quick Run 1060 brushed electronic speed control is exactly the same as the Axial unit. Axial just rebrand them. And look at the price on this. 21 bucks. Uh, it's waterproof, 60 amp. It's not programmable. It's 100% all the time. Drag brake is on. But for what I want to do, that's fine. 21 bucks. I had to get one and try it out. Um, probably going to put it in my Tamiya CR01. And I'll let you see on a video how that works out. If I ever get some decent paint weather. That's it for this time, fellas.